seems like, uh, at least according to the schedule, like two days off, and then it sort of looked like a, a loose day today. Is that, I mean, was that intentional? What was the, what the plan of uh, this kind of approach? Uh, we, we had a team event yesterday, you know, a team went on a team event yesterday, and uh, uh, today, you know, I mean, normally Monday's a regen day for us and Tuesday's off, so today we sort of left it up on their own, except for the guys who didn't uh, play that much this weekend, had to do a little bit more, so guys could play some soccer tennis, they could play some more uh, 6v2 if they wanted to, and, you know, we sort of left it on their own, make sure their bodies recover, and then tomorrow we'll come out and work hard. How, how did everyone seem to enjoy the, the trip to the base yesterday? I think they had a good time. You know, everyone's talking about it, you know, and it was, uh, you know, they were great, you know, and the things that they uh, uh, allowed the guys to see. And I think all the guys were pretty, uh, uh, I don't know if taken back is the right word, but we were pretty impressed by, uh, by uh, you know, things that get done there for sure. A pretty lighthearted mood out there. Is that just a function of coming off two straight wins, sort of a good run of form, or just where you guys no, are? We just uh, we said we wanted to have a light practice today. We wanted to enjoy ourselves. For the, you know, certain guys had to do a little bit of work, but the rest of the guys, you know, we could, you know, we could get the work done at the beginning in the warm up, get some ball touches in, and then you know, you know, do what you needed to do. When you have a super young guy like Morris or like Yedlin, what separates a guy like that who can kind of come to the program and contribute right away versus a guy who might not be ready yet? Do they just have something mentally different than most kids their age? Well, it's two things, I think. You know, one is uh, when you look at guys and they succeed at a young age there, uh, they, have, they have two things. One is, you know, they generally have a very good work ethic about them. Uh, you know, those two guys both do. And the second thing is they're, uh, they're pretty driven. You know, there's something that really drives them. And, uh, you know, and that drivenness then shows itself in terms of its attention to detail. And that attention to detail is trying to improve all the time. So for me as a coach, what you always measure when you see young guys and you see them develop and grow quickly, whether it's a Yetlin or a Morris or a Roldan, generally you don't have to say things to them two or three times. You know, you say things to them once and they'll try and incorporate it or they'll try and bring it into their game or they'll work on it. And uh, there's other guys you find yourself repeating yourself and eventually you know that it's probably not sticking. I would admit that even I right now have not quite mentally nailed the, the wording of this question, so I hope you'll kind of see where I'm going and bail me out. Okay. Um, the uh, the first goal, the Dempsey goal. Yes. Uh, there were two assists were credited. Yes. And it seemed even before that, Kovar did nice hustle to go dig the ball out in the corner. Even before that, Gonzalez took the shot that kind of started it. Do you all kind of weigh the whole sequence and see who contributes to goals even beyond what might show up statistically? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we watched it on tape today. You know, we said, look, here's here's an example of a really good team goal. You know, and it was already the play before it even got wide to Kovar. There was already a really good buildup and, and sequence there. And then the ball pops out and Kovar does a good job holding off guy who's probably twice his size, you know, and, and then connects the pass and we connect the next two and then Freeberg has the vision and finds Dempsey and it's a good first time finish. So it's a really good team goal and we showed that whole sequence and, and certainly, you know, alluded to that and, uh, you know, that's what you're looking for from your team and, and so, you know, that's what I was happy about on uh, Saturday is that I thought, uh, you know, we had some really, really good moments. I mean, there's, yeah, obviously you can talk about Wondolowski's chance, you can talk about Dawkins off the crossbar, you can talk about the missed penalty. Those are all factors. I mean, and, and unfortunately that happens in games and I always say you got to dodge some things uh, along the way and, and that's just the way it works out. But when you look at the overall game, I thought uh, uh, our ball movement was was pretty good, was as good as it's been all season uh, at times and, and we were playing through the lines much better than we have been and as a result we were more dangerous. You know, there were a lot of sequences we showed them where by playing through the lines we were 3v3, 4v4 and now as we get more of those opportunities and I think you'll see more goals. How much credit of how much credit goes to Freeberg for both A, the increased ball movement, and B, being able to play the lo play through the lines like that? Is that something that you well, see? Well, Freeberg helps. I mean, that's one of the qualities he has, his ability to, to see those passes, you know, and, and certainly the time he was injured, you know, you know, we obviously missed that, you know, and everybody has a little bit different strengths, a little bit different qualities, but that's that's certainly one of his qualities that he brings. What when y'all do look 
more deeply into goals and so forth. Is there a player or two who tends to be in the thick of things in a way that maybe doesn't uh, show up quite in, in the statistics? Uh, you know, I mean, for me, you know, like we had a really good chance in the second half where uh, Freeburg, I think, slipped the ball through to Morris and Morris uh, hit the shot into the goalkeeper. And that resulted from just good team defending. You know, we, we closed down, you know, uh, two guys closed down the ball, Kovar and uh, I think Freeburg as well, and we won the ball in midfield and, and got off onto a good counter. So, so a lot of times, you know, we also try and show them that, you know, you know, good defending leads to good attacking. But, you know, if you're telling me <coughs> what I say, this guy's more involved than that guy. I mean, there's there's stats you can look up, and there's stuff that we have on match analysis. They have this thing called shot creation. So they go back through uh, every time there's a shot, you know, who had a touch in that sequence, and you know, and they weigh that for for the games. But obviously, the forwards and the more attacking midfielders are going to get a higher percentage there. But uh, you know, it's it's a team game. Everybody's got to do their part. If the defense doesn't do their part, we don't win the ball back. And if we don't win the ball back, we don't have a chance to pass it. And when we win it, we got to pass it well and keep it. Speaking of ball movement, what have you thought about Dempsey's role as a creating player, kind of opening up the field and such? I, I think he, I think he had a very good game against San Jose. You know, he played because they play more of a four-four-two. He was able to play a little bit higher uh, in that game as well. But he found he found the space behind their midfield and in front of their back line. And, and you know, credit on some of that goes to Freeberg because he found him in there. But <coughs> there was one sequence where Ozzy hit a really good ball into him as well. You know, so there were different people finding him there. But you know, like. The opening sequence when we had the chance where uh, on Ozzy shot on goal. Remember where the guy makes the save. It's Dempsey getting the ball and opening the ball up to Joven. That that really starts that whole sequence into uh, into a very dangerous uh, final phase. You had mentioned that uh, Nelson seemed to be coming in pretty good and he was healthy. Uh, was him not starting a, pers a decision made by the coaching staff or more of like his health? No, no. It was just a decision where we felt. This was the lineup we wanted to go with. I mean, is it going to be, you had mentioned in the past that maybe um, the midfield thing would be a matchup by matchup basis. Is it fair to say that maybe Freeburg and Roldan will be switching out depending on the matchup, or is that just going to be a week by week thing? We'll see. We'll go week by week and we'll look at it a little bit. Depends on us. Uh, you know, I mean, more depends on us than on the opponent, but some of it depends on the opponent and, and what we think creates the best matchups for us. So that uh, Hercules Gomez is set to do some broadcast work for uh, Copa America. Is he expected to miss any scheduled training, or is it mostly going to be worked around? Uh, it should be worked around. There's no trainings that I'm aware of that he's going to be missing.